Author is funded by the Pacific Northwest Writers Association, supporting writers from pen to publication since 1955. To learn more about the PNWA and their yearly conference, please go to pnwa.org. Let's talk about the learning switch because one thing I have seen, my son is on the autism spectrum, and one thing I have seen with him is how impossible it is for him to learn something if he's not interested in it. Yes. He can't fake it. Yes. And I assume you've had the same experience with many of the children you've worked with. Yes. Uh, the, 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 I've seen it in two places because I initially my population was not that I worked with were not children. I didn't even plan on working oh, with I didn't children. Know. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I worked with dancers, musicians. That was my background. That was okay. my world. <laughs> <laughs> so when I, I came into somebody else's class and I started uh, teaching a lesson and I realized that these people, it was like they were like zombies, but they weren't on drugs or anything. And then when I started working with the children, and it, when I began, I usually got them when they were more like four or six years old and older. And I would get them and they were like, the lights were off. They didn't even expect to learn. They were like, not learning. And I just, and then I discovered how, when I started interacting with them, they were coming to life. The learning switch, what I call the switch, is off. You can shake the kid, you can bang on the kid, you can do anything. They're not going to learn and they're probably going to get worse. Yes. But if you take, a, 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 when the switch is on, it's like almost anything I do with a child, they're going to learn and do better. Right. Because the brain, I, I like to say that the, the brain is like an information cookie monster. <laughs> it's just like, take a, blah, blah, yes, blah, blah, blah. Yes. any information, give me information, give me information, give me information. So, so the, 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 in the chapter about the learning switch is really to guide the parent, the teachers, the therapists, anybody, and ourselves, with ourselves. If your switch is off, I mean, go have dinner, go to sleep, do, and then there are ways to recognize when it's on and off and yeah. then operate accordingly. What is variation? Again. The brain is an information cookie monster. It needs information. Without new information, it can't do anything new. The brain generates variation, a lot of variation in a healthy child. And it's important to mention that what provides the brain with information is the perception of a difference. Right. Until we perceive a difference, it doesn't exist. Right. Beautiful, quickly to say, research that was done on Japanese people that have a very hard time distinguishing between L and R. And you can train them for a very, very long time, hours, and very, most of them don't actually ever get it. And they don't get it because they don't hear it. For them, L and R sounds the same. Right. So they can't learn it. There was this brilliant researcher that started making the difference between the sound bigger and bigger. In an hour and a half, they were able to distinguish it. Once they were able to distinguish it, he could bring it closer. Yeah. That's what I do. And uh, these are my essentials. My essentials facilitate for the brain to perceive differences and get it to be better at perceiving differences because that alone is... So when a child, if you see any area of difficulty a child has, in that area, they're lousy at perceiving differences. And this connects to me to another one of the essentials, which is subtlety. Oh, yeah. Which is ability, which is getting smaller and smaller and smaller in what you're Well, aiming. it's actually the, it's a very, it's very, it's physics. It's the reduction of the intensity of the stimulus. Because the more intense the stimulus, the harder it is to perceive an added amount. Right. You understand? So if the light is very bright and you turned on a flashlight behind me, I wouldn't see added light. But if it's dark, you put flashlight, I go like, oh my God, I can see again, right? So I worked on a girl with a brachial plexus injury, paralysis due to an injury to the nerve to the arm. And the, she was eight weeks old. She already had a bunch of therapy. Nothing worked. Had no idea she had the arm. And I, I did something, whatever I did, I rolled her on the side a little bit so that the arm would lie on the body so that when I knew that I was going to probably induce random movement, which I was working on, that, that it could move easily. And I explained, the people who were watching, I explained I'm taking away the gravitational force by leaning so the least amount of contraction, because their muscles are very weak, will generate movement. That'll give something to the brain to work with. It'll start recognizing the arm. 
The father says to me, oh, we were told by the therapist to do everything against gravity. I said, yes, you do that when your arm is already perfect, but you don't do that when your arm doesn't move. You want to reduce the effort so it can feel what's going on so it has a chance to learn. She started moving her arm within six minutes. Wow. Four months later, she, they came back for lessons. It didn't take just for six <laughs> minutes, but within four months, you couldn't recognize the difference between the arms. Right. And that's sort of sim also then that leads to slowness, which is, again, and these are things I've had to learn because I move fast, and I've had to learn with my son. My wife actually pointed out before she ever read your book, she said, you got to slow it down. you got to slow it down. She's right. She was right, yes. And it goes better so that he has time for it to Ex come in. Fast. We can only do what we already know. Right. The way the brain is built, only existing deeply grooved patterns will, will be activated if we need to go fast. Right. That goes for the habitual, and we need the habits, we need the, the patterns. But if we want to do something new, we need to slow down so we can feel what's going on. Slow gets the brain's attention. You know, for instance, I knew of my son that I could have his body physically in my hands, but if I didn't have his attention, I didn't have it's him. over. I want to say that's the first essential, and that's the. This is sort of the mother earth of all the essentials. Okay. Movement and attention. Right? Movement with, with attention. attention. I came to conclude that movement is what I call is the language of the brain. Okay. Mo movement drives the brain to grow. Movement is the basis from which the brain self-organizes, gets to organize itself. And thought is movement. Oh, absolutely. It's a form of movement. And how about emotions? Yeah. In an already moving human being that has done it, movement alone only um, grooves in more deeply existing patterns. And it's good because we need to be able to walk and do things automatically and so on. Movement without attention, and that's uh, Michael Merzenich and his uh, colleagues' research, brilliant research, no significant change in the mapping in the brain. Not in the sensory area and not in the motor area. You get the monkey to pay attention to the movement. Incredibly fast rate of growth. And other research, they estimate that with children, 1.8 million new connections per second. 100 million a minute, right. a billion every 10 minutes. You can really create massive transformation. Describe for me the difference between attention and awareness, okay. different thing. So attention is very different. So for instance, the, the way I, I found to describe it, uh, you go to the theater or you see kids in the theater, right? And, and they watch the movie and they, they're like inside the movie or inside the play, right? And they yell and they warn right. the, the, the actors, he's behind you, he's behind you, pay attention, right? So they're really paying attention, right? They have zero awareness that they're doing it. They're jumping up and down, they're screaming, they're yelling, they're not sitting there. Awareness is a whole different function. Awareness is self-observation, that you, are, you know that you know. You know that you're doing something. You're able to say, I am now moving my arm right and left. And awareness functions with very young infants. They don't have the language. They don't have the words. They actually they begin having language very quickly, but they don't have the right. words thing. But they are aware, and, they, and they, you, you, you can see babies all of a sudden looking here, looking here, and they become aware of the connection. So someone watching this, a mother and father, they just come home, and they've heard the news. Your son, he's two, he's Asperger's, he's autistic, whatever. They're at that moment. Mm. What do you say to them? Well, I say to them, f first and foremost, there is huge amount of hope for your child. Take a breath. Don't run right away to try to fix your kid. Because if they've had the problem now for a year, a year and a half, two years, three years, and now it got a label, a week, a month, even a month, won't make a difference. So first of all, protect yourself and especially protect your child from over trying to, it's not an emergency in that sense. And then, personally, whether they come to us ever or not for private sessions, read Kids Beyond Limits. People who use those essentials for a while, it becomes a way of life. Yeah. You know, you say, oh, slow down because you feel this is too fast. Or you say, I'm using too much force. Yeah. I'm shutting down this brain. I'm shutting right. down my own brain. It becomes a way of being, which is fantastic, not just for children with special needs, but all children. And 
all children have lots of needs, and by the way, I don't know an adult without special needs. So <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's a way of life. Yeah. And there's a lot of hope, yeah. really a lot of hope.